Hello, Divers Recruits! You ever dream of raining democracy down on alien scum? Well, strap yourselves in, because Hell Divers 2 is a baptism by fire. Literally. But fear not, for this season, Hell Diver is here to share the 15 secrets that will turn you from a bumbling rookie into a freedom delivering machine. Make sure you stay until the end of the video because I have a tip for you that a lot of people don't even know about that will get you a free season pass. So let's get in this drop pod and start delivering democracy to alien scum. And since we're already on the subject, number one, let's call this one the drop pods of doom. All of your drop pods actually do a lot of damage to your enemies. So just communicate with your teammates and if they ever tell you drop me in hot that means you should drop them right in the thick of things. And this one drop pod hit is likely going to take down at least a charger. Bio Titans can be a little bit tougher, but trust me, it's a good way of delivering democracy even to those sons of bitches. Number two, whenever you get a weapon you've never touched before, make sure you hit that reload button and hold it steady. Holding down the reload will actually give you a menu of extra options for whatever gun you're using. For example, if you do it on the railgun, it will give you the options between using it in safe mode and unsafe mode. And after after the recent nerf, using it in unsafe mode is the only way you should be using it always and ever. So basically, whenever you get a new gun, hold down the reload button and try it out. Number three, as long as you complete your objectives, death is pretty much just a minor setback. If you're feeling down after a heroic but ultimately fatal sacrifice, don't sweat it because as long as you've completed all of the major objectives in the level, you will still get that completion and the XP and requisitions. The only thing you really miss out on is any samples you may have collected and of course the bonus of having hell divers actually extract out of the mission. Tip number four, how to become the ultimate hell diver through keyboard settings. Go to your keyboard settings and make sure you set your stratagem input to be set to click instead of hold. This will make it a lot simpler for you because you just need to click the button and your stratagem's input will stay on the screen. From then on, also make sure you set your stratagem's directions to be actually controlled by your arrows instead of the WASDA. That will make it so you can actually run and sprint and run away from anything that comes after you instead of trying to manage that and also your stratagems. You can use both hands. Oh my god, it's like magic. Spreading democracy and freedom requires the use of the correct tools for the correct job. Don't forget that hell diver. Tip number five, silence is not golden. This is a co-op PvE game. That means you should try to always communicate with your teammates, communicate about your loadouts, communicate about what you're doing, and most importantly of all, communicate about all of those heavy, heavily armored units. My uncle likes to say, speak softly and carry a big gun. Well, in Helldivers 2, forget about that softly part. Communication is key. Now, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like, drop a comment on any tips you might have, and subscribe to my channel for even more Helldivers content. Now back to the list. Tip number six, how to deal with chargers. Chargers are easily one of the most annoying units you will face in Helldivers 2, but there's actually a fairly easy way of handling them. The butt is not particularly a weak spot per se, but it's just not as armored, which means that you can take something like the Jack, for example, which has explosive rounds that will pierce through it and do full damage to it. But how do you get it to show its butt? Well, that's a lot of butts there. A lot of people dive out of its way, but actually it's a lot better if you just wait for it to almost reach you and then you just strafe to the left or right. After you do that, it will pretty much swerve behind you. You can turn around and start shooting at its but democracy seems to love posteriors, what can I say? Number seven, as the lucky number, is actually a really important one. Make sure you communicate with your team about your loadout. The game is hell on those higher difficulties, so make sure you communicate with your teammates about who will be taking down those heavily armored units, who will be taking down the shaft, who will be taking down outposts, etc. You will have a much easier time if people bring stratagems that deal with specific situations. That way you're prepared for everything. Number eight, make sure you check out those effects on every planet. For every mission, you will have a screen where you can check out the effects a planet might bring to your team. Stratagem's cooldown might be increased. If you're fighting the bots, then stratagems could get scrambled and you may try to bring down an ego airstrike, but instead you get the orbital laser. The planet might have a meteor shower or god forbid even fire tornadoes. So if you want to bring freedom to those filthy socialist robots, then you better get ready even before the mission and know what you're getting yourself into. Number 9. At least right now, ego strike 
strikes are kind of OP. For all intents and purposes, Eagle Strikes have unlimited uses. They're accurate and after you use all of your charges, you can send your Eagles back so they can resupply. Until you've used all of your charges, there isn't a very high cooldown time, mostly about 5 to 10 seconds for most of them. The orbitals are much clunkier and much more finicky. Yes, the orbital railgun is incredible and the orbital laser is super cool, but the orbital laser has three uses per mission and the orbital railgun has a high cooldown timer. So for general purpose use, nothing beats the ego strikes. Tip number 10 is choose your battles wisely. You don't need to engage every single patrol you see, especially on those higher difficulty settings because, let's be honest, once you start an engagement, it's very likely that a bug breach might spawn or a bot might call some of it. His buddies and that is no bueno because we don't mess with those socialists. We are out here to spread managed democracy so focus on completing your objectives, avoid those unnecessary fights and live to fight another day. Remember, a smart helldiver is a live helldiver most of the time. For tip number 11, let's get some visibility out there. A lot of terminate missions will have a green fog which stops your visibility throughout the battlefield and that comes from those big mushroom thingies which are the spore spewers. You need to focus them down and kill them as soon as you see one. Apply extreme prejudice to them, they're fairly easy to see and once you take them down it will be much more simple for you to actually complete your objectives and to actually see your enemies. For tip number 12, it's about how to upgrade your ship to the highest level levels possible. Let's teach you how to get those super rare samples. Open your map and look for a point of interest that looks like a black circle. That is the thing you need. It will be best for you to get some high ground because the rock that actually hides those super ultra rare samples is really unmistakable and easy to see because it has a very phallic shape. As you get closer to that mushroom tip, you will also see that it has some white veins on it. That's the one you need. My god, the developers were trying to tell us something with this one. But whatever, every super sample in the level is actually contained on this rock. Just remember, it can only be found on difficulties 7 through 9. For lucky number 13, make sure you get those radar towers. Each 40 minute mission will have one of those radar towers. If you find it, make sure you prioritize it and liberate it for democracy. Once you do that, it will actually map every single point of interest on that map, which is incredibly helpful. All you need to do is to start the terminal and then align a radar dish. You can even do this solo. You just need to watch out for these sounds. After you complete it, I'm sure your entire team will be incredibly grateful. For tip number 14, it's a way for you to level up fast. This was recently nerfed, but it's still the quickest and easiest way for you to farm XP and warbond medals. Just hop into one of those 15 minute defend missions. You should make sure you grab at least two mortars, an attack stratagem and maybe even a support weapon. The higher the difficulty, the bigger your rewards. You just need to survive pretty much a horde mode, which is incredibly fun in this game. While the required kills have been increased from 185 to 500 on the highest hell dive difficulty is still incredibly rewarding and bang for your buck it's the best activity to do if you're low level and you need to get those war bonds and xp points up and now for number 15 the final one how you can get a free season pass the season pass pretty much has two tracks a free one and a paid one in the free track you should get 750 super credits and in the paid one you should get 300 super credits that is 1050 super credits which means that you will have 1000 super credits for the next paid season pass. So while it's not technically free, you just need to buy the season pass once and then play as much as you need to in order to unlock all of the super credits needed. The best part about this is that actually a lot of the points of interest on those longer missions will actually even be super credits. So you will have some to spare for the super credit store if you have anything over 1000. I've told this to a bunch of people that we got queued up at random and nobody has even noticed it which has me pretty surprised but there you go and now you're truly equipped to conquer the galaxy for super earth soldier remember with knowledge teamwork and a healthy dose of explosive firepower you can turn the tide of freedom in your favor so what are you waiting for grab your squad unleash your inner helldiver and spread managed democracy across the cosmos don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for even more explosive content until next time keep fighting for the good fight and remember, for freedom!